All right, so before in the game, I was like, I was hearing all this talk about how Joel and B is now Robin, and I guess Tyrus Maxey is Batman. You know, we're going to use this analogy. And I think, if anything, tonight proves more so that this talk is ridiculous. Now, I get it. We all need stuff to talk about. We all need stuff on the table, ideas, talking points, and all this other stuff. So, maybe it's ridiculous of me to even talk about this here. But, <clears throat> I just don't. I just don't get it. Now, granted, I think that a lot of people really come at Joel Embiid in a way that is odd, in a sense. You know, I also know that some people think that Joel Embiid gets away with being talked about. I I don't necessarily think that he gets talked about that, uh, like, he doesn't really get the the same hit, I guess, as a superstar should get, but I think that he he does, you know, but, and some of that's because of his teammates, which, I mean, like, that probably should take away from it, but neither here nor there. I just think it's really sort of disrespectful that we're just like, is not B basically Robin? You know, not, he, not even going with the fact that he was the MV that he was the MVP or is the MVP candidate or however you want to look at it, you know, depending on how y'all seen how last year should have went. But while Tyrese Maxey has been a really good story and, you know, from last year to this year he has not only emerged but gotten even better, um, I think it's still preposterous to think that he is the top dog on the team. Now, one, I was like, I don't think, I think while he can score at a great length, I think that's all that he can really do. So I don't know how much that really impacts on being the top guy, you know, considering that when we talk about most top guys, we talk about them at a level where they're doing multiple other things than just scoring. Uh, or you think about the times that people have won MVPs and stuff like that, it's because they added something else to their game to take them to that next level other than just scoring, especially considering nowadays how scoring is. But uh, I was like, could you say it's 1A, 1B? Uh, could you say uh, something like that where it's like, you know, they're, they're co-partners in this? Sure, I'm totally always down with that because I'm like, you can't win anything alone. You need somebody that compliments you. You need somebody that can take the burden off your shoulders. Uh, they have you when you're down. They could be up, you know, vice versa. You know, I was like, and especially as a big as Embiid is, I'm like, there's, oh, there's a limitation to what you can do. So, therefore, it's, it's even more that I'm like, he does need a guard wing player or something like that to do more of the things. I was like, I said in the previous video, I was like, Tyrese Maxey is pretty much a Jamal Murray to Nikola Jokic. I'm like, Nikola Jokic, I was like, I'm, can he hit a shot at the end of the game to win the game? Yes. Do you necessarily want him to go out there and create it for himself? No, there's a reason why Jamal Murray has the ball at the end of the game. It's the same thing here. Can B get you a shot at the end of the game? Yes. I was like, I think he's actually more creative of getting a shot than Nikola Jokic is. But there's also a reason why he defers, but also the balls. And I was like, but they put the ball in Tyrese Maxey's hand because he has more range and able to be more dynamic with the ball. But him being the man or whatever like that. I'm not saying that he can't be. That's not what I'm saying here. I'm not saying there won't be ever a time because I was like he's so hella young compared to where Joel Embiid is getting and especially as a big man and injuries and all that other stuff starts wearing down on him that yes maybe in like two or three years this might have a different of a change but we're talking about right now I think that's really disingenuous of everything that's going on. The fact that Embiid over here 
with a bum knee, Bell palsy, migraines, and I was like, and yes, I know he gets hurt during the playoffs quite a bit, but for him to be having all that and him still playing hella minutes and being like still the focal point, because I'm like, yes, while everybody worried about Maxi, they're still worried about that beast and bead at pretty much like 55, 65%. And he still is out here being good to damn good. I won't say dominant because that's normally how he is when he's fully healthy. Um, but yes, I was like, I, I was like, his scoring output, especially for the previous game, but you see in this game that I was like, he pretty much, I was like, sort of like came back a little bit down to earth. Um, I was like, whereas, you know, and we aren't going to fully knock him. We're just going to say like, oh man, if only we could have got a little bit more from him or something like that. But nobody's expecting him to be what he was last game. Whereas Embiid, Embiid gave you like 35. But people are going to be like, man, he should have did enough. Or he would, like, that's the part of being the man, Batman, whatever you want to say. So, is he there? No. I was like, will he eventually get there? Maybe. I was like, I, me personally, I was like, Nah, I was like, I'm not going to put a cap on somebody's ceiling or whatever like that. So I'm not, I was like, so even though right now I'm like, I don't see it. Uh, I, at the same time, I'm going to be like, that doesn't mean that he can't do it. He can, I was like, prove me wrong, not me specifically, because I ain't nobody to anything here. But, but he can end up moving up in the ranks, if you get what I'm saying. Um. But I just think it's just—I think it's just odd that we say this, and when we wouldn't say this to anybody else. Like, there's no, there's nobody else that I feel like we would give this treatment to of like, are they the Batman of the team after just a couple games? And also, too, I also feel like does the regular season also not prove that as well too? That as soon as B went down, they went from possibility of like at least number two seed to having to basically fight for the play on, play in game. And then if B didn't come back in later on, would we have seen them they would have still probably been in the play in, but would we have seen them make it to the playoffs? That to me is like the difference. But like I said, I was like this is really second year of Maxi being into that prominent role. So that's also a lot to ask for to him in this perspective as well too. So in this aspect. So let's 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 pump the brakes on all this. There's no need for all that. Uh, I was like Embiid, fully healthy, is still leaps and bounds the best player on this team. Nowhere close to being the Robin to Maxi Batman, if that's what we're gonna say here. And I was like, cause we all understand what that means. And I'm like, no. And B still Batman. Maxie's Robin. I was like, but he's just a damn good Robin. Depending on which one you want to choose. But anyway, I think this is all ridiculous, but until then, peace. I'm out.